Hello, next on our list of reminders is similar triangles. This one's not too tricky, but people do seem to forget about it sometimes. So I'm just gonna remind you briefly. Uh, similar triangles are basically triangles that are just scaled up and down, bigger and smaller. So all of the angles end up being identical. So for example, these two, the triangles are oriented the same way, which makes it easier. Sometimes one of them's flipped around and it's a little trickier but it looks like those are equal and we're going to assume that for the purposes of what we're doing these are equal and this is kind of common practice to pick a way to mark these angles and show that they're the same so you don't have to memorize that we're not doing a bunch of triangles this quarter but you're welcome to if you'd like to so assume that angles n and r are the same l and p are the same and q and m are the same but the l M N triangle is just a scaled up bigger version of the PQR triangle. So what we're told is that the corresponding sides are proportional, which means if you take the ratio of two sides from one triangle, it has to equal the ratio of two sides from the other triangle. Or in other words, whatever you multiply one side of the triangle by, you have to multiply all of the sides by that same thing. But I'm gonna set this up as ratios for you so you have an idea of how to set these up. Uh, so let's see, let's label some sides here. Another common uh, trig thing that you probably see eventually is whatever you label the angles, you label the opposite sides with something similar. So I'm going to use those same letters, but lowercase. And it does make a difference. Switching from a lowercase to an uppercase letter is a different variable. So you don't want to flip flop those uh, as if it doesn't matter. Okay, so let's just look at the big triangle and let's say we're gonna take the ratio of M to N. So pick a pair of sides within one of the triangles. So M to N on the big triangle should be proportional to the corresponding sides, which are Q and R. And it does matter that we keep the sides, the two matching sides on the top and bottom and that we don't have those switched up on uh, opposite fractions. And proportional just means that the ratios are equal. So we could pick that pair of sides. Um, and as long as we were careful, we picked this, this height of this, it's not quite height, this vertical side of the triangle and the base of the triangle. Uh, and we use the fractions that way, we should be in good shape. So just to give you another pair, I could take L over N for the big triangle and that should match with P over R for the little triangle. And let's just do one more. I could take uh, M over L from the big triangle, and that should match up with Q over P for the little triangle. And you can do this with any pair of sides and what you end up with should be a valid equation that you could then solve for whichever side you'd like to. So let's look at a quick example. Hopefully this won't be too tricky. Sometimes the way the triangles are situated are a little different here. So what we're hopefully seeing in this one is this big triangle ABC would be similar to this smaller triangle CDE. So those are the two triangles that we're looking at. Sometimes they'll be nested, sometimes they'll kind of have a connected corner. So sometimes it's a little tricky. Trig will really get into things a little bit more, but hopefully you'll be able to spot when they're similar and be able to use that. So here the goal is to use these proportional uh, ratios to solve for x. So we can pick a, a pair of sides on the big triangle. I'm going to say that we want the X to be one of them since that's what we're solving for. And then the one little thing to be careful about here is that we have information about the base of the triangle, but we aren't actually given the base of the triangle. We'll have to add those two up and it looks like this is drawn not to scale. So we're gonna do six feet plus 12 feet. So this is 18 feet total. So sometimes you have to be a little bit careful about something like that. So we can set up this ratio any way we want. So we could say x over 18, or we could say 18 over x. And either one of those will be correct as long as we match it when we look at the smaller triangle. So if x was the numerator for that first ratio that I set up, four should be the numerator on the other side, and six should be the denominator. 
or if I'm going to go 18 over x, uh, 6 is the base of the small triangle and 4 is its height. So you can actually pick and choose here to make life a little easier. If I'm paying attention up front, this equation is just a little bit easier to solve. All I have to do is multiply both sides by 18. So I'll get x equals 4 6 times 18. And I think I want to simplify that a little bit. I can see that 6 goes into 18 three times. So it looks like x should be 12 feet. So for now, you might want to be really careful about that. Um, that said, it's not hard to solve the other one. It just maybe involves a step that you haven't really been picked on about much yet. And we will work on it a lot at the end of the quarter. So if you set this up so x is in the denominator, the kind of funny extra step is that if you're solving for a variable, it can't be in the bottom of a fraction. So we would want to first multiply x out of the denominator. And we'd get the x's cancel on the left. So just an 18 equals 6 fourths x. Um, and if at any point you notice that that 6 fourths can reduce, go for it. But we can also save that up and do it at the end. Now I need to divide both sides by 6 fourths. And remember that dividing by a fraction is the same as multiplying by its reciprocal. So we're going to have 18 times 4 sixths which matches up exactly with what we had before. We can say 6 goes into 18 three times, so x is 12 feet again. So either way is great, but if you're not super comfortable with moving x out of the denominator, you will be by the end of the quarter. You can just set these up carefully so that you don't have to deal with that. Thanks for watching.